this is a strange sort of game. I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, here it is. This game is called The Test. Right, so here we go, everybody. Let's check this out. Here we go. I don't know fucking anything about it. You get, you get asked questions, but I don't know. Right. Here it is. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of the entire experience. I'm going to put me air here. And do that. Right? Because there's nothing, there's not much happening here by the looks of it. Um, why are people saying various times like 11, 11, and are you trying to predict when I'm going to bin it? Right. Kylo, thanks for the sub. How long you got to place before it gets binned? It only lasts for about three quarters an hour, apparently. It's no, it's not like it goes on. It's not like some sort of like um, card game that goes on for like a week. It's honestly, it's like fuck all. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if that's hard to face. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself or your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? Last one. The process is very simple in theory, just answer a long series of questions. I would put a colon there rather than semicolon. Personally, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. You certainly want to put a capital J there. What's difficult is self-analysing your own psyche to evaluate the truths of your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. See, there's known knowns and unknown knowns and unknown unknowns. As long as the answer, this is like Scientology recruitment. As long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, there will only be. This process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. This is simply nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is a human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. The Texas Milkman thinks that the five gifted subs thank you very fucking much. It is Arsenal, yes. Sure thing, Elrond says Schlug Pliskin. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no. You can't even answer yes or no. Hey! You may not understand nor realise it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered, do you see? I invite you uh, to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience we are about to begin with a series of questions and provided that you are a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. I don't like it. I don't like it. I've got a wall around me. Do you believe that everyone should be treated fairly? Let's say it's somebody who's really, 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 really fucking bad. Um and I want them to be treated like absolute fucking shite until I get to a point where I go actually even somebody that bad you know come on it's, this is making us less human this is this is actually making us less human 
doing this. Um, do you believe that everyone should be always treated fairly? It depends. It depends what you mean. It depends what you mean. You know what? You know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Depends what you mean by treated fairly. Let's say it's somebody who's very, very, very bad. And they get fucking... They get their skin peeled off them. I think that's fair. So yes. Do you believe that everyone should always be treated equally? Equally? What does that mean? What kind of equal? Let's say there's somebody, let's say I'm handing it slices of cake. There's one slice for you. One slice for you. One slice for you. And here now is somebody who is a cake thief. You get no slice. Hannah, thanks for the sub. Steve Scribbles, a fine gentleman. XIX. Thanks for the subs. Um, equally, equally. Uh, no, 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 I don't. No, no. A cake thief should not get the same slice of cake that everybody else gets. It should not be treated equally. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no, always, always. No, no, always. No, I don't. Have you ever invented anything? Yes, I invented... Uh, swearing xylophone. Do you believe that you're worthy of someone's time investment? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yes. Would you say that you're sometimes have trust? Your <laughs> yes. Would you be all right with living alone forever? Yes. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Yum, 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 yum. The Texas Milkman, thanks for giving me five subs. Thank you very much. Maestro Mag sent to the sub, let me invented comedy. Do you always give someone the benefit of the doubt? Uh, no, sometimes you, I'm like, no, I think they're lying. Do you dislike the sound of your own voice? No. Do you like the colour blue more than the colour black? Black's not a colour, it's a tone. So, yeah, but I'll answer yes. If you found money on the... That's uh, this art teacher in school said that all the time. Black and white. White is not a colour, it's a tone. Black is not a colour, it's a tone. Because there is no colour with black or white. But you could say, well, white, actually, you're combining, like, if it's light, you're combining red, green, but it actually is daylight. It doesn't matter. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Uh, yes. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? Um, yes. Are you afraid of spiders? No. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? Yes. Of course I would. Would you consider yourself to be fat? Uh, I guess I, that's a... I don't know. This is a strange question. It's a strange question. It depends. It depends. You know how it is. You know how it is. Fat. Actually, see the the day I, I've got a mirror there, and believe it or not, I was actually in this 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 room earlier. This is gonna this is gonna make you feel uncomfortable or uh, whatever. I was actually in this room naked this morning. Uh, I ran out for the shower, getting myself dry to check what time it was to see if it was the sort of time where I should start the stream with the camera off, but at least put marbles on. So I was like that, right? And I was sort of leaning there, and I saw myself in the mirror. And I'm not the same shape that I used to be. 
and I'm going through this sort of uh, way of thinking where I'm partly caring but trying to no care. I'm partly caring but trying to no care. Is that, is that, is that whole fucking Barnes and I actually go to do in modern society? Would I rather like do things like no eat tons of chocolate and exercise all the time and go to the gym all the time and do that in order to look uh, this sort of conventional way that the pressures that people put on you and what they expect, etc, 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 etc. Or to rather live my one life eating what I fucking want, exercising when I want or not exercising, but um, uh, no looking at my body as some sort of failure and all the rest of it like I spoke, I spoke before and be happy with myself and be confident myself in the way that I see other people. Would I like to be the way other people are and be... Or at least think of other people in that way or... I don't give a fuck how other people look so why do I give a fuck about myself I would much rather be free I would much rather be free do you know what I mean to no care that's that's the aim I don't want to change my body that much I would rather no care do you know what I mean I'd rather no care triangle thinks the sub what's the fastest liquid on the planet milk it's pasteurised before you see it Mmm, thanks to 15 quid. I miss your ma, son. Yeah, I miss her so much. It's no, it's no mum. Does the same mum says ma. Thank you. It's a bit like, I imagine somebody was to say some sort of compliment about, compliment about how you look or anything like that or no gear compliment or whatever. You should, in your these programmes talking about uh, trying to make people look younger and things like that. I know it's easier said than done, but surely, what you should be aiming for, surely, again, easier said than done, is um, you should be aiming to no care. Surely that's the ideal, not to be all kind of like, if you just sort of sit in a cave and do that and ignore everybody and just be in a bubble, you're in thoughts, you'll be fine. You've got to interact, you see these things all the time and you hear things and you see things in the telly and all that shit. But surely what you should be aiming for is to no give a fuck. Anything you can do to no care is that's the way to go. Because eventually, if you're thinking about in terms of your looks or whatever, eventually you, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what condition you're in or how good you think you are, eventually it all falls to fucking pieces. So the sooner you get it in your head to know kind of care, the better. That's the way, that's what I've been telling myself anyway. I have arrived and I'm eating a Kit Kat Chunky. I secretly bought myself a Kit Kat uh, Chunky um, peanut butter one the other day and I just ate it like, kind of like while I was, I think, I'd, I'd spot, it was in my pocket, I forgot about it. Had it while I was cycling, fucking magic. Honestly, you've, you, you, you know what I'm going to do? I can't see lunch. I can't wait. Torn about 20 fucking slices of toast with fucking piles of fucking butter. You can't fucking beat it. You can't. Benny, thanks for the sub. Peanut butter Kit Kat's are the best to fucking right. Five, thanks for the bits. You should care if it's to do with your health, but not just do it. Fuck fucking health. Who gives a fuck about your fucking health? The Texas Milkman, thanks for gifting me five subs. Tall man, thanks for sub. Thank you very much. Texas Milkman, you've been very, very generous. You can put your money away now. That, 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 these subs, I'm going to keep these subs and I'm going to get myself a lovely slice of cake. You've been very, very generous. Just leave it there. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much. Kugel Bear, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Um, what was I saying? Would you consider yourself to be fat? Yes and no, but I'll go with, I'll go with no. 
but sort of yes, but sort of no. I consider myself to be fat, just as a sort of word for being a wee bit more overweight than I used to be. So in that sort of self-critical sort of, oh God, God, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, no, I, you know what, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with S, fuck it. Just, just as a feeling, a feeling, a feeling, do I believe it? No, really, do I really, really care? It depends. But you always have body issues. I've always, always, not, um, always, no, no real in terms of weight, but anything else, my, feeling my arms are too long, feeling about my walk, the way I walk, I walk my legs a certain way, my hips are kind of wide, is my arse sort of big, um, is my back too arched, it's sort of like my, my back sticks out kind of a bit, is it too arch? Is it too this? Kind of self-conscious in a way that I, I didn't feel a lot of other people were. So I've always been like that. And then, and then as you get older, there's the hair kind of lost thing. There's the looking older. There's the uh, uh, putting on weight or finding it harder to be. Like if you ever had it in your mind, if you ever cared about looking good in any way, You've got all these wee markers for all these metrics of what looking good means, and you go by all these wee conventional standards that you see on the telly, and you yourself has have held other people to, or um, what you're into, or what you find attractive, or what you used to be, or all these sorts of things, and then you basically you pay the price for that. Like if you um, used to care about no looking old or something, or whatever it was, and then you become old. Um, it's, um, it's kind of like, it's like, a, it's like a deprogramming you've got to do, basically. But, it's, um, it's interesting, it's interesting, I'm interested in, in seeing how a lot of you, uh, younger folk, uh, that are streaming, uh, streaming handle it, is, uh, as you go maybe for your 20s to your 30s and your 30s to your 40s. I'd be interested, and a lot of people on Twitter as well that I, uh, uh, that I see, I'd be interested to see what they're like when they start getting grey, when they start getting the, the, the gels and the, the bags under eyes and the mere wrinkles, and they don't know what to do about it. And all these other things. I'll be interested in, in watching that. Uh, I, I will take a certain amount of pleasure in it. Benjani, thanks for the sub. Did you ever see the crypt Freddie Mercury on an 80s version of Bake Off? The judges asked him to bake a cake, but he said no. I want to bake three. Very good. It's a bit like that joke the other day. Name your jokes, everybody. They're fucking shite. Right, here we go. But you consider yourself a goblin, though, right? Would you say that you have lo lots of charisma? Um, in certain situations, I. Other times, zero negative charisma. On yes. Other times, I've got negative charisma. Somebody speaks to me, aye, 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 and then within a certain period of time, they're like, uh, aye, aye, all right, well, I'll, okay, all right, good, all right, see, I'll see you later, bye. Have you ever wished you could be temporarily frozen? No. This is all very interesting. Did you realise that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spell the name Satan? Nope. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? Nope. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Uh, no, I'm a fuck. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Yes. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No. 
were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering questions dishonestly? No. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? No. Would you consider yourself captivated? Yes. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? North, thanks for the sub. Thanks for the content. You've cheered me up in many an occasion. Glad to hear it. You're welcome. No. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? Absolutely. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No. Are you wondering which hidden messages you may have missed? I'm no, I actually don't really care. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? No, because I know the whole thing lasts about... Um, there was a playthrough on YouTube and I saw the video was like three quarters an hour. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Yeah. Do most humans annoy you? Um... Most, the most, no, most don't, most don't, but all it takes is one in a hundred. Do you prefer animals to people? Do I prefer Bobby? Would I prefer to sit in the house with Bobby or another human? Bobby. Um, do, would I prefer it if yous were all cats and dogs? No. Or, or your son? This is my son Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, don't don't just do <laughs> Daniel, don't It's so funny. Right. Uh <laughs> it is fucking it sounds it is hilarious when you're the other person. So he fucking does it. Brody, thanks for the sub. Daniel, I'm going to spill... Daniel, I'm going to spill the fucking coffee! I nearly spilled that! Oh, fucking hell! Daniel, going to... The, Daniel, I'm getting so not annoyed, I can't... I'm getting, I'm getting a stutter. I can't... It's no funny! Anything, anything where you say it's no funny, it instantly becomes funny. Do you prefer animals to people? Eh, uh, ach, no. Do you believe in magic? No. Do you believe in God or the existence of some sort of higher power? No. Do you fear death? Um. Fear it. They'll want to die. I often want to die in a suicidal way, but that's when I feel suicidal. They generally, generally, they'll, they'll see if I walked out there. I'm alive, ain't I? I'm alive. I could die anytime I want. I could die in fucking five minutes if I wanted. But I'm no, because I don't want it. So that's, I fear death, yes, I do. I want to live. It's just sometimes it's so fucking shite. Got a love-hate relationship with life. Right. Life makes it so hard to love. It's, it's, the, it's not the big things for me. It's the wee things. It's the wee things. 
beneath the headphone sticks to turn a bits. Thank you very much. It's the fucking wee things, isn't it? It's not even the big fucking things, it's the wee fucking things. Hi there, sorry to chase you up. Is there any, any, how are we getting on with it? Oh, fuck this. I've not had an email like that in ages though. Hi there, sorry just to chase you up, but if you manage to do that, oh, for fuck's sake, that's right. Oh! Did you remember to phone the, oh, fuck. The thing is broken, could you phone up to make sure? Mm -hmm. No! What happens if I don't? What happens if I don't? Ed, uh, kid for dread, thanks for doing a bit. I, I, D, three, C, K, four, R, D, I, I. Ed, kid for Ed. Right, here we go. Are you attracted to... Oh, did I, did I pick something? Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? Yes. Did you answer that last question with 100% honesty? Yes, I did. Are you alone? Um, is it us? Dear Scully says, oh my God, is it us? Maybe. What if it was, would that shock you? Uh, are you alone? No, I'm no. If I told you with utmost certainty that there's someone watching you, would you believe me? Yes. Have you ever wondered who I am? Uh, no. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? No. Do you feel like you're being watched? Yes. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. See, I hope it's not. I hope it's nothing too embarrassing with these questions, like. Um, You know, something like, um... Like, see something like, uh, do you consider yourself to be fat? That's fine, and all that. But there might be some people, like, watch, watching this who don't like that sort of fucking thing. Um... Uh... We'll see. See, other, other wee things. Other, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Have you considered quitting this session early? No. Do you drink water every day? Oh no. It was a fucking day. It was a fucking day. Do you eat at least once per day every day? Yes! Do you realise that there's a high probability that you've miss, missed a plethora of hidden messages thus far? Uh, do I realise that? Um, I don't, I don't know, but I'll say no. Do you realise that you just missed another one? No. Are you wondering what they are? Yes. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? Uh, no, I'd like, I'd, I'd, uh, would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? Yes, it would bother me to never know without finding himself. Is there another option there? Like, I, I'm, I would bother me to never know regardless if I found him or you just told me. Um, I will say yes. I'll say no, because I can just YouTube it. Oh shit, is that what that meant though? I don't know. Is your favourite number seven? No. 
Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Uh, I don't think life's short, no. Oranges cannot be compared to apples, do you agree? They can be compared. Oranges are oranges and apples are apples. That's a comparison. I don't agree. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? No. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Yes. You can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? No. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? No. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? No. Did you realise that in the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? No. Do you wish to be loved? No. Have you ever felt hate? <laughs> yes! Culture Golf, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Yes! Do you have any addictions? Fucking love it, booze, man. Do you dislike the colour pink? No. Does the colour grey seem depressing? No. Do you enjoy loud music? It depends, but I'll say yes. Do you like to dance? No. Generally speaking, no. Would you consider yourself normal? No. Do you love your parents? I suppose so. I, 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 I suppose so. I. <laughs> I mean, I mean. The, the the word love I've never I, like automatically before I would go um I I, I love love my mom love my dad and all, all that sort of thing but then as time goes on I'm like uh, what what is that what does that what does that mean I'm I'm quite wanky when it comes to the the meaning of words I'm like what does that mean first of all it's just a word it's just a word that tries to kind of encapsulate various things. What does it mean? Like, I don't mean, uh, I don't mean, oh, I love them and them and them, but no them. I don't mean, like, imagine I said, uh, I didn't lo uh, love my da. I don't mean, oh, I love them, love them, but no my da. I mean the opposite. I mean, like, what does it mean to to love my dad, let's say, but no love another person. What does that mean? Does that mean that I don't care about that? This, the, this person? Does that mean I don't care about them? Does that mean I don't care if they die? Does it mean they're knowing my thoughts? Is it to do with how often I think about them? Is it to do with how much it would upset me if something bad happened to them? Is it to do with how much I, I would go out my way to do something for them? What is it? What does it mean? Do you love your parents? I'll go, where are you? Do you know what I mean? Have you ever been lied to? Yes. Do you get angry often? Believe it or no, I don't, by the way. Believe it or no, I don't. Honestly, I don't. I get all, you know, all that, all here for a kind of joke, but I don't actually get that angry, angry that often. I have um, got angry. And when I get angry, I get really fucking angry. But generally, I try not to. I don't think so. There. No, I don't think so. Do you hold grudges? Um, I used to really, 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 really fucking hold grudges. Really, really, really. But ever since um, antidepressants. I let go of grudges very quickly, and then when I came off antidepressants, the grudges stayed away. The 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 the, the whole practice of holding grudges. Um, but I still I still hold them. 
See, see, grudges. I don't hold grudges like this. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to have, get this game because I thought, I don't, isn't it just for going like that? Yes, no, no, yes, yes, no. I wonder what happens in this game. It's to sort of yap about things. Um, I hold grudges in that. See, if um, I felt that somebody sort of kicked me while I was done, that sort of thing. Um, and then. I sort, you know, you get past it and all the rest of it, and then that person, I felt they never felt, uh, they never faced justice, if you know what I mean. Depending on what that is, you'll have your end fucking interpretation, or your end thing, your end fucking life. Then I'd be like, and and they're sort of acting like nothing happened or something. I'd be like, you know, partly, but in, in my mind, I'd be partly thinking, I remember what you did. I remember what you did. I remember how you acted when that thing happened. And I can't fucking forget that. And so I wouldn't specifically go out my way to do something against them because I've, I used to be like that. I used to be the sort of person who would uh, like seek out people and do things. Um say things, you know, forums and stuff like that and do things to get back at somebody who who did something like that to me. But now uh, I've got that many people who dislike me that it's basically uh, uneconomical, uneconomical with my time and my energy to actually pursue. Like, sometimes I get told, did you hear that this is getting said about you? Or did you hear that this person said that? Or did you read that? And I could go and go, you know, an answer go, that's not what happened. That's not what happened, though. But that, and you're like, what's the fucking point? What's the point then? You're arguing with other cunts. You're doing that. And that person said that, and I know they knew that to not be true. So I need to get back at them, and I need to just let it, let it go. Let it fucking go. Honestly, you've not got the fucking time. You've not got the time. Fuck them. But in my mind, I have still got a kind of... If something pops up, some opportunity arises, like somebody just presents a wee switch to you, if you do that switch, if you flip that switch, um, they're, they're going to get pure shown up for who they are or what they've done or whatever it is or something, then I might go, ah, you know what, fuck it. If it's easy, if it's easy and it doesn't require much effort, um... And I've got if I've got the inclination, but really, by the way, by by switches and buttons, I don't mean like fucking violence for fuck's sake. I just mean um, um, sometimes I take pleasure in somebody getting their comeuppance, and all times I don't. I just don't care. I'm just like oh, I don't care. Fuck. I'm I'm certainly not the angry person that I used to be. Believe it or not. I'm not, the, I'm not the vengeful person that I used to be. I'm still a bit vengeful, but I'm not the vengeful person that I fucking used to be. And all I can say is that a great number of people should should be very thankful about that. That's what I'm going to say about that. Oh, scarier. Do you hold grudges? You know what, I do. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yes. Uh, have you ever done something that you knew you shouldn't have done but still did it anyway? Every goddamn day of my life. Have you ever lied? Yes. Have you ever cheated on a test? I don't know how many tests have I fucking taken. I don't think so, but you know what? Fuck it. You won't cheat this test. Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Um. Yes. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? Ever? Ever? Have I ever? Yes. Do you believe you have psychic powers? No. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. Do you dream often? You know, don't, I, I had a kind of dream last night, I can't remember what it was, but I don't dream as much as I used to. I really fucking don't. 
I can't remember the last time I went like that. Oh, I had this mad dream where this happened and that. that I don't dream often, though. Do you have nightmares of, often? No. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? No. Do you suffer from depression? Not really. Do you exercise often, stay active? Not really. Is there a particular type of food you despise? Yes. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Yes. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes. It's, it's, it's like, um, what's that um, thing it can guess? It's like it's going to show me a person. What was it called? The thing it guesses. Akinator. It's like it's going to go, it's going to go, is this the person you're thinking of? That's them! That's them! That's the pastor! Do you ever feel lost in life? Ever? Do I ever feel that? Yes. A natural leader? Um, no, not really. I want to lead. I want everybody to do what I, what I say. But am I able to do it? I have, I have in the past went like that. I think we should go here. No, I, I know. I think. See if we go there, though. I think if we go there, though, we'll be able to do that. And the, the, like, I've got an opinion, but I'm not a leader. Um. I mean, you could say yes, you are a leader. I mean, you're here, and then you might make some sort of, um, I don't know, fucking Discord or fucking Rust server and say, right, I've made this. You're coming here, but that's because of all the other things come here because of this. And they're there because of that. It's not because I have just sprung up out of nowhere and went, I'm going to lead everyone with my wisdom. It's due to other things. Uh, no. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Like, right now. Right now. No. Sometimes I... Sometimes if... If I, if I read too many things, too many upsetting things, or uh, a, a, an article, or something in a book, about some sort of pain and suffering sort of thing, and I go, how how much of this is happening all across, across the world? This happens all the time. It always will happen. And you have to ask yourself, does the suffering in the world, the, does the happy times and the singing and the dancing outweigh the pain globally? And I don't think it does. And sometimes uh, it makes me want to go like that. You know what? Fuck it. If I could just wipe it all out with one press of a button. Um, end the whole thing. For everybody. Aye. No, but... No, I wouldn't. I would I would just see how it goes. I would see, I'd see how it goes. I would see how it goes. Would you press it? No, wouldn't you? If you gave me it right now, no. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Oh, yes. Have you ever been bullied? Kinda, sorta. Have you ever bullied someone else? I think so. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yes. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Yes. Do you find space fascinating? You stay. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Absolutely! Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Have you ever fantasised about being a supervillain or performing a heinous... Oh, yes! Do you believe in perfection? Yes. Have you ever stolen from someone? Yes. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Under any circumstances, yes. Under any circumstances. Any. Yes. If I saw somebody running towards you with a rocket launcher, I'd help them. I'd say, have you got one for me? Have you got one for me? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. That's a joke. Uh, rocket launcher in Glasgow. Oh, sorry. I don't mean a real rock. A rocket launcher in Glasgow is a... 
it's a it's a thing you do with packets of crisps. It's when you open up a packet of crisps at one end and and the other end, and you go, <gasps> and all the crisps come flying out. Uh, if any's a fake Lesga and you're like, I've not heard that, it's because it's for the, it's for the past, so when I was younger. If any's on my age, it's because she's a middle class. I've got a working class council estate upbringing, which you don't. Planet Mushy thinks it's up. Fuck it, press the button. I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not going to. If you had one day to... I don't think... I, wait a minute to that, accidentally. Have you have you had one day to live? Would you tell anyone? Um, I tell Lynn and Daniel. I go. I don't want to die. So it's like the last last memory, especially with Daniel. Mourn me for the rest of your days. Uh, yes. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Darkest? No. Do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? No, I don't. Do you know who I am? No. Well, I know who you are. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? Yes. If I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? Uh, if you told me? No, because I know it's not true. Of course not. That would be silly now, wouldn't it? What's that doing there? What's that doing there? That was a wee, like a wee dug thing down the bottom. What was that? Look at that wee dug. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Sparky thinks the sub. I don't. I don't. I'm just. I'm just thinking. I'm a wee bit. Empathetic? Yes, I actually do believe it or no. Yes. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? No. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Yes. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Uh, sometimes, yes. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Yes. Would you ever shave your head? Never! Are you attracted to muscular bodies? What's, what's going on here then? Muscular bodies? Maybe. Do you ever dance when no one is looking? No. Do you trust your best friend entirely? They are fuck! Do you remember your childhood extremely well? I thought I did. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Mm, no. Do you ever dream about running from a killer? Yes. Do you ever dream about falling off a cliff? Um, no. Do you ever dream about being naked in public? I might have. Ever. Mr. Chunks thinks for the sub. Just a wee bit late to get in on the rust, but here's my six months anyway. Enjoyed every minute. You're no late. The server's still there. Thank you very much for the sub. Do you ever dream about being... Uh, yes. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? Yeah. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yep. Yeah. Do you like being the centre of attention? Yes. Do you feel like something is always watching you? Um, no, always no. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? Of course. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Um, no. Have you ever punched a nun? Right, what's going on here? What's going on here? The thing, the thing with this game is, I'm sure it's all fine, 
But I'm just waiting for something dodgy as fuck. I'm just waiting for something dodgy as fuck. You know, like something kind of like edgy or something, you know, a bit dated, shall we say. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever punched a nun? No. Do you like dogs better than cats? Um, I like dogs, I like cats. I like cats, I like dogs, I really like cats, I really like dogs. I, uh, no, I don't, I don't like dogs better than cats. But I do like dogs. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? No. Are you still wondering why I asked if you've ever been, have you ever punched on? No, no. Do you get starstruck easily? No. Do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings? Yes. Is your favourite part of your birthday receiving presents? Yes. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like really? Just bam, right in the face, nun punch? Right, what's going on here? Don't they get way bit? We just got it. Just, 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 just go my eyes on it. It's probably fine. Just a wee. There was a Satan thing though. Uh, no. Did you laugh? No. no. Did you say what the fuck in your head are even allowed? No. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to punch in on sometime soon? No. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Um, if there's a hell in the 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 biblical sense, absolutely. You know, like for for the hell for the people. Who don't abide by you know like the the Bible and things like that or any other kind of religious sort of thing for other religions? Absolutely. The Jack Scully cyber killer thinks the subs. Can you tell my pal Jordan enough's enough in an irritated voice? Jordan, enough's enough. Jack Scully thinks the two years. Matty Bremner thinks the sub. It's narrowed it down to you. And a guy who hasn't punched a nun. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? No. Do you masturbate free? Like this sort of stuff. This is private. Yes. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? No. Some of these questions I might just sort of like blitz on me. Do you know what I mean? I might, might blitz on. I might just go like that. Yes, no. Batter on me. I might just batter on me. Are you wonder frequently? What, like three times a day? Yes. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, three times a day. No, I don't. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? No, not more than slightly, no. Is your mouth dry? No. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? Right, let's see now. What is, what is in this game? You know, what could get said right now? Get it bin before it's too late. Right, hold on. Hold on. Oh! Right, hold on. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, does profanity make you uncomfortable? No. Do you, but I'm going. I'm honest. I haven't done this just in case something. You know, just, just in case the maker says something that they think is funny. It's actually fucking out of order, and you know, it causes a, a fucking rammy. Um, G uh, Ganti says coward. Ganti, you wouldn't know I'm a streamer, right? I'm a streamer, right? I'm some sort of part timer. But do you believe in legendary beasts such as a Loch Ness monster or Bigfoot? No. Are you poor with money management? No. Ch 
choose one of these numbers that you feel resonates with you most in this very moment. Um, 1, 7, 11, 13, 21, 69. 1. I'm, 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 right. Choose one of these colours that you feel resonates with you the most this very moment. Blue. Blue, green, red, purple, grey, black, purple. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you the most this very moment. It says, wicked, sick, plagued, wretched, toxic, and vile. I like the word plagued. And then I've got blessed, glorious, divine, angelic, heavenly, and celestial. Celestial, just something to do with the C, the letter C there. There's no point in moving my head because it's not always going to be doing this. Choose one of these words that you feel resonates with you the most in this very moment. Maybe I should. Maybe I should move myself out there. Bring myself here. Luck, skill, strength, agility, intellect, charm. Um, intelligence of a certain kind, but utterly without charm. Uh, I'll go with luck. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Yes, I do. Do you speak more than one language fluently? No. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yep. Do you enjoy coffee? Yes. Do you believe in demons? No. Do you believe in angels? No. Are you afraid of sharks? Scared? I'm afraid of them. No, because they're, they're, they're nowhere here. You may as well be saying afraid of fucking aliens. Do you prefer baths over showers? No. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No. Did you see a shadow move in your room a few months ago? No. That's fortunate. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? No. Do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? Uh, no. Do you ever hear footsteps around when you're alone? No. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Yes. Do you often look, you know, because it's like, you know, a house, the fridge. M. Scott. Thanks for the sub. Neighbours. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? No. I used to. It used to be 23, 23. I'd see a lot. Have you ever felt... Uh, I see 23, 23 a lot, which is interesting because 23, 2 times 3 is 6. The 3 times the 2 is 6. And then the last 2 and the 3 is 6. 6, 6, 6. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No. Do you have any pets? Yes. Is your favourite colour green? No. Are you attracted to a family member? That's fucking... That's... That's fucking odd, that. That's... That's fucking odd, that. That is fucking odd, that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I mean, there's a whole thing with, like, family member. Is that, like, wife, husband, and all that? But there's something... Something about that I don't fucking like. I don't like. There's something about that I don't like. I don't... Right, what I'll do is I'll answer, I'll answer some of these, like, off stream, right? Uh, try to family member. I'll do... Even, even saying no it just feels fucking weird. There's something... There's something I... I don't... If you won the lottery, would you shit? I'm having, I'm having to go back and forth because some of these are fucking... a bit kind of mental. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yes. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? Yes. Have you, have you ever wondered what it would be like to be in prison? Yes. Do you like fishing? No. 
Do you like hunting? No. Do you like camping? No. Do you like guns? I like the I like the guns and games and gun, guns of technology and things like that. The same way that I like catapults and castles and uh, things like that. Um, yes, you get tired of answering questions. No. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? I don't think so. Eyes of the window at the soul, would you agree? Do you always keep your promises? Absolutely not. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Of course not. Are you an only child? No. <laughs> yes. Do you like tattoos? Not really. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Yes. Do you believe you have a soul? No. Did you cry this week? No. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm like, I'm like having to go. Like, I, I do apologise, but this fucking Eden, Eden could pop up right now, and I don't want it to. It's anything could pop up right now that would put a fucking dampener of perhaps weirdness or whatever, or something kind of. There should be really be a wee warning for that sort of thing, you know, something like that. It could be like a suicidal thing or, you know, some something like that. Fuck knows, but... Are you upset with someone right now? No. Is there someone you're being, uh, you're not being completely honest with daily? Oh, uh, uh, every cunt. Uh, yeah. Do you understand how this works yet? No. If you answer the questions twice, your truths may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them and com the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? No. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Yes. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers you, and this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? Uh, no. Are you afraid of being abandoned? It's abandoned. It's abandoned. What would abandoned be? What would abandon be? Maybe, maybe like, you know, imagine like a view's all fucked off and nobody watched me anywhere and everything was all fucking shite, that kind of thing. Um, I, would, I wouldn't have liked that. But do I like the feeling of being like alone and everybody fucks off? Aye. Abandoned. Are you afraid of it? Uh, afraid. Like, am I, am I scared of it? Just because it's my uh, my job, if you know what I mean. It's my job to be... Um, my job depends on... My, my, this is my work, my, my, my way of life. Depends on me not being abandoned. If you know what I mean. Uh that kind of thing. By people in general, by just the everyday people, uh, no. Are you afraid of dying alone? No. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? I don't worry about it, no. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? No, always. 
Do you feel like I know you yet? No. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? No. I think we have enough information for you. Whether you skip questions answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond or answered for quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. Calculating the results. I'm analysing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. you sure managed to paint a vivid picture here, haven't you? You can be described as a lot of things, but one major issue you have is blatant. You're insecure. You don't easily trust people, but you don't trust in yourself, and that is the biggest flaw of all. Why? Because you're beautiful. Ah. You don't even see it, do you? You don't even understand just how magnificent you truly are. If you could see yourself the way others see you, you'd have all the confidence in the world. No, 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 no. People tell me on a daily basis what they see, and that actually gives me less confidence. You know, I don't, I don't even really care about how I look, but I get told on a daily basis I look awful. People bullied me into getting my teeth whitened. People talk about my hairline. They say I look haggard, they say I look old today, they say I look knackered today. I don't even notice it, I don't even care. And it's because they tell me the what, the what they see. This is opposite. Every time someone says something nice to you, make up an excuse as to why it isn't true. That's not true. Every time someone says something negative about you, you take it to heart. That's every cunt. The people who are saying nice things are not saying them to make you feel better, they're saying them because they're true. The people who talk shit are doing it not because it's accurate, but because they're even more insecure than you. No, it gives them a buzz, it's a giggle. It's a giggle to say, ha ha ha, you fucking old baldy old cunt. This does not take into account the pleasure of being nasty, which is a kind of almost inbuilt thing with a lot of humans. It's almost like how we got to where we are today. The joy of evil. Claire Bear Snotter here thinks the sub. A dark horse day crawler. Kenny. Thanks the subs. It should have said cancelled. Thanks for no cancelling your sub if that's what you're saying. Oh, I'm cancelled. They can't handle just how bright you shine inside and out. They can't handle how much potential you have and how much potential they lack. It burns them to the core and they lash out at you. Right, so... But they're, they're people as well. Just trust me this. Stop doubting yourself. Put the haters to rest and live your damn life the way you know you should. You can be happy while they cry into their pillows at night. That's not your problem. This is the sort of fuck. Is this just grabbed straight from my fucking Discord private chats? You may or may not realise it, but you're a star. A pretty fucking bright one. No, I know that. Uh, two, two Scottish BAFTAs testify to the fact. Your secret word is love. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Uh, take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be a part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. Um, we appreciate any and all comments you leave and we'll always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. You can find the test hypothesis rising, the test final revelation and the test chamber on Steam. If you haven't, if you have, if you've enjoyed this instalment, 
You can also find the Journey series and the Advisor series, which we'd encourage you, encourage everyone to try here, here today. Uh, if you'd like to support us further, try our other games, you can find a link to all of our titles on the title screen of this game under the section Our Other Games. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate you. Thank you. How much did I pay for that? Let me... £1.35. Um, overwhelmingly positive. All reviews, overwhelmingly positive. 15,000. Let's see the comments. My secret word order. Secret fucking word. Secret word. Secret. Talented person. I think you are more talented than you realise. I think you're more talented than anyone else realises as well. Uh, secret word chaos secret word order you know when to like type a comment and then appreciate So it's just, it's basically um, a, a kind of I, I'm not pure putting it down, you know. Kind of I liked it. it had a there was a kind of a slightly creepy sort of white it when you're fucking streaming. That's an uncomfortable fucking white it when you're streaming, but it's a kind of um, a browser sort of thing. Data mining game. It's a browser thing, you know, that, 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 that could have been, like, that thing at the end could have been random, you know, like, uh, love, talented, or whatever it is, but, um, there you go. 